With mindfulness being a present moment awareness, it allows us not only the opportunity to pause and to understand that where we are right now, for the most part, is a safe environment, but it allows us to respond more appropriately as opposed to reacting. That is not only beneficial for the teachers going into this school year, but the students going into this school year as well as their parents. So one that I will do with students virtually is I Spy. And what essentially we're doing when we play I Spy, it's a game, so usually there's some buy-in. And I will say, I spy something red, I spy something warm. And then what they're doing is they're scanning the room and they're looking for the things that I spy. What is really happening is they're tuning into their senses. They're tuning into their sense of sight, their sense of hearing, and they're noting that the environment is safe. They're noting that despite the world and the chaos and the storm around them, right now in this very moment, I am safe. And that regulates their system. It is forming a relationship between the student and myself so that they can feel safe with me. And then lastly, it allows the prefrontal cortex or the reasoning part of our brain to then engage in a meaningful learning environment. Using mindfulness, whether it's through an app, through a children's book, going online and finding resources or having the benefit of a mindfulness teacher, it will not only benefit the student and the teacher and the parent relationship, but it could really allow this fall to be something meaningful, to be something rich, and not only gain the experience of learning, but of giving these students the gift of being able to regulate their own systems. And that is such an amazing life skill to have going into their adult lives. Support provided by the Mimic Foundation. More information at mimicfoundation.org.